Hey, you ever gone a snipe hunt before? It's a whole lot of fun. You should totally go and do it. You're gonna need two people to do this. You're gonna have to have a collar and a bagger, so bring a friend for this. The bagger's job is to get the snipe when it comes out. Just, boop, catch it in the bag. There you go, you got a snipe. Of course, the snipe's not gonna come out on its own, so you're gonna have to have someone call it. Now, making a snipe call is not that hard. You just have to learn how to do it. You don't need any equipment. First, you gotta know how to make a raspberry noise. You know this one. Yeah, that's the noise. Then you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna cup it. You're gonna have one side narrow, one side kinda wide. Kinda like a trumpet. Put the narrow side up against your face. Have the wide side pointed out. It's gonna sound kinda like this. All right, that's not complete though. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other hand and put it over top of the open side of your hand. From there, you just kinda move it back and forth a little bit. Kinda wobble it so it makes some different sounds. Keep practicing and it'll sound kinda like this. When it sounds like angry Donald Duck, you know you're getting it right. What you do is you go out and you find some nice low bushes, nice and thick. And one of you sits there with the bag. Another one, go ahead and call the snipe. And eventually, the snipe's gonna come on running. Darnest thing you ever saw. Thick legs like a frog, hops up and down, got banded wings and little bright eyes. And as soon as that snipe comes out, oh, you'll know it when you see it. You just go ahead and pop the bag over top of it, and there you go, you got yourself a snipe. It's a great way to spend an evening, or at least a great way to get rid of gullible people for a couple minutes.